Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove the background from hair Like this image here of this beautiful girl I don't know who she is, she isn't me I just got this picture of a free website So um, let's just start And uh, the first thing you always need to do when you start to remove the background is Make sure that your image has an alpha channel Because that means that there will be transparency in the image possible And you do that by right clicking on the layer and then click on add alpha channel and now we are going to duplicate this layer by clicking on this button here and we're going to make a layer mask in this uh, from this image and what I want to do is make sure that the contrast between the background and the hair is a big so I'm going to go to colors curves and then make sure that the contrast is bigger by doing this as you can see the contrast between her hair and the background gets bigger and bigger and I want to let's see that's too much I want the background to be almost white well that looks nice and um, try when you do this to make the contrast, contrast as big as possible between the background and the hair so I'm going to click OK with my curves here and now I'm going to make the image black and white because a layer mask is always uh, black and white or grey tones. So I'm going to go to colors, desaturate. And in this image, luminosity gives me the best contrast. So I'm going to go with that and then click OK. And now because the layer mask will show everything that is white in the layer mask will shine through. And everything that is black in the layer mask will be masked. So we want the hair and the face to shine through, and so we want to want that to be white. So go to colors, invert, and now her hair is white. And all we need to do is make sure that everything else we want to shine through is white as well. So I'm going to go to my uh, paintbrush tool and make my foreground color white, and use a big brush, and then just paint her face white. Like this. And what I also need to do is paint all the bits that are still grey here white as well. And I'm going to do that while I pause it. And there we go. I've got my uh, mask ready. Almost ready. Because I just noticed that in the corners it's still a bit white. So I'm going to paint the corners black. And it's nice if that works. Like that. So now I've got my mask ready. But it's not a layer mask yet, it's just a separate layer. So in order to make this a layer mask, first we'll create a layer mask on this layer here by right clicking on it. And click add a layer mask. And then tick white full opacity and click add. And now we're going to uh, copy and paste this one, or cut and paste this layer into this layer mask. So click on this layer, go to edit, cut or Control c and then click on your layer mask make sure you click on your layer mask and then go to edit paste or Control v and now it creates a floating selection in your layer dialog and what you need to do to paste it into your layer mask is click on this anchor the floating layer icon and there you've got it now it's your layer mask and this looks almost perfect here with this background I would leave it like this and with a background with a similar color I would just leave it like this but if you've got a very contrasting background like for instance a black background I'm going to create a new layer just to show you what a black background would look like I'm going to fill this with black and then zoom in a bit on the edges of her hair here you can see that there is still a little bit of the bluish background left so in order to fix this, I'm going to zoom out again you can clone in hair on these edges so I'm going to go to my clone tool and now I'm going to clone some hair from here to the edges here and make sure before you do this that you click on this image layer so this one, click on that then with, in, with my clone tool I'm going to clone a bit by control clicking a bit of this hair here and then paint over it here 
And it's a bit too dark, so I'm going to try something else here. That looks better. And when you're cloning, you need to take your time to make it look perfect. So this might not look perfect because I'm doing this very fast just to show you how to do this. And I'm going to clone something here. I'm not going to do the whole image because that will take up too much time. Uh, but I'm going to pause it and do a little bit. So I've cloned the left side and also a bit of the right side while I was pausing it. But I did it quickly. But uh, just to show you what the difference it makes. Because uh, if I zoom in now on this same spot. You can see that there no longer is um, a background uh, color. There are no longer those traces of, um, of gray and bluish background. It's all hair now. So that's how you... Make it perfect. As you can see, I didn't do this very well and it's still a bit gray. So there needs to be a little bit of cloning here as well. But take your time for cloning because as in everything with GIMP, the more time you take and the more precision you do it with, the better the outcome is. So this is how you make a cutout of hair using a layer mask that you created yourself from a different layer. And I hope this tutorial helped. And if it did, then maybe you'd like to watch my other videos and subscribe. And thank you for watching.